Listen everybody To the words I have to say Better get ready Because the Lord is coming one day This is Daniel White the third with the second coming watch update and this is update number 256 and let's take a quick look at today's prophecy related headlines which point towards the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ and the end of the world as we know it. According to the National Post the potential for Syria's revolt turned civil war engulfing the wider region seems to be growing by the day. Turkey and Syria continue to trade daily shell fire since five Turkish civilians in a border town were killed by the Syrian military. Tellingly, a meeting of Vladimir Putin, the Russian president, and a chief ally of the Syrian regime and the Turkish Prime Minister which was set to take place in Ankara next week has been abandoned. Oil prices have surged in part because of the potential for all-out war between two of the region's most important players. Secondly today according to Ynet News Israeli aircraft struck targets in the Gaza Strip over the weekend in retaliation for rockets that were fired on Israeli towns. According to the IDF spokesperson's unit, the aircraft attacked three terror targets making direct hits. The army said that it considers Hamas responsible for the previous day's rocket fire. Third today, according to Reuters, Human Rights Watch said Syrian government forces had dropped Russian-made cluster bombs over civilian areas in the past week as they battled to reverse rebel advances, an act which rights groups uh, say can constitute a war crime. The bloodshed inside Syria has worsened markedly in the past two months although neither side has been able to gain a distinct advantage. Combat has been reported nationwide, but the crucial strategic battles are being fought in an arc through western Syria where most of the population lives. Ladies and gentlemen, the Bible says in Mark 13:7, And when ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, be ye not troubled, for such things must needs be, but the end shall not be yet. You can read these stories in more detail and get more prophecy-related news at secondcomingherald.com. If you do not know the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, may I encourage you to get to know Him today. To do so, please understand with me that you are a sinner, just as I am, and that you have broken God's laws. However, in spite of your sins, God still loves you, and he does not want you to be separated from him forever. Romans 5.8 tells us that God commendeth his love toward us, and that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Because Jesus Christ died for your sins, all you have to do is believe in him and receive his free gift of salvation. If you do so, you will not have to suffer eternal punishment in hell. Rather, you will live eternally in heaven with God. 
Dear friend, if you believe that Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins, was buried and rose again, and you want to invite him into your heart today, please pray with me this simple prayer and mean it from your heart. Holy Father God, I realize that I am a sinner and that I have done some bad things in my life. For Jesus Christ's sake, please forgive me of my sins. I now believe with all of my heart that Jesus Christ died for me, was buried and rose again. Lord Jesus, please come into my heart and save my soul and change my life today. Amen. If you just trusted Jesus Christ as your Savior and you prayed that prayer and meant it from your heart, I declare to you that based upon the Word of God, you are now saved and you are on your way to heaven. Welcome to the family of God. Congratulations on receiving the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. For more information to help you grow in your newfound faith in Christ, go to GospelLightSociety.com and read what to do after you enter through the door. And also, please leave your name and your email address so that we can get in contact with you to encourage you in the faith. Jesus Christ said in John 10.9, I am the door by me. If any man enter in, he shall be saved, and he shall go in and out and find pasture. In closing, please remember the words of the Lord Jesus Christ in Matthew 24.42. Watch therefore, for ye know not what hour your Lord doeth come. Matthew twenty four forty four says, Therefore be ye also ready, for in such an hour as ye think not the Son of Man cometh. Now let us join in the prayer of John the Revelator. Even so come, Lord Jesus. God bless you. You got to get your business straight.